Fort Worth 11 Investigates team has learned that the Lucas County Prosecutor's Office has admitted that key evidence in a 1992 murder case was never turned over to defense attorneys. And one of the defendants in that case, Eric Misch, served more than 25 years in prison. Now, Misch wants a new trial to prove his innocence. Lead investigator Brian Duggar joins us to discuss what he has discovered. Brian? Yeah, not only did the defense not give this evidence, but the prosecutors also did not receive it from the Toledo Police Department. And this was not inconsequential evidence. Mish and four other men were found guilty of beating Vernon Huggins to death in Wilson Park near Woodward High School. All five men say they had nothing to do with it. And this discovered evidence points the finger at multiple possible suspects. For example, Four men confronted Huggins the night he was killed over a robbery that Huggins allegedly pulled off. One of the men was carrying a heavy wooden table leg, and an autopsy shows that Huggins died from blunt force injuries. It was also revealed that a tipster said on the night of his death, Huggins was in a bar with the man who killed Emma Dolberry that same night. The tipster said this man then killed Huggins to keep him quiet, and a bottle found next to Huggins' body and included in this new evidence contained the DNA of a known Huggins associate. Now on Monday morning, there will be a hearing in the courtroom of Judge Gary Cook. And you may remember his name. He presided over the hearing for Wayne Brady and Carl Willis in March and released them after they accepted Alford pleas. Now they were the men featured in our 2019 investigation, Guilty Without Proof. Now, Judge Cook has to rule on another wrongful conviction case, and he must decide if Eric Misch should have a new trial. And what makes this even more interesting is that Misch was paroled in 2020, but now he wants to clear his name. Brian, five men were found guilty, so could this evidence also help the other men? Oh, absolutely. No physical evidence ever linked any of these men to the scene and multiple witnesses who testified against the men have since given affidavits recanting parts of their testimony. And people may wonder why are they still fighting to clear their names since they're now out on parole, but it's tough to survive in society with aggravated murder on your record. And if they can clear their names, they can then sue for damages and if they are successful, the going rate is about $50,000 for each year of incarceration. That would be more than $1 million in this case. Reporting in studios, Brian Duggar for WTUL 11.